All right, so growing broccoli is a winter crop. And I covered it probably nine times. It was a headache, but it was well worth it. Check it out. I got to cut the... Uh, I'm new with broccoli, but I'm going to cut these top off. Because they're going to take overpower everything. But I ate a good amount of broccoli. I'm leaving this one alone because I wanted to flower and see what kind of animals we get. Animals. <laughs> Not animals. That would be, ba that'd be bad. But see what kind of um, insects we get. Hopefully we get some beneficial ones because we, we're starting to get aphids because it's getting hot. I got some stuff that's good for this and it doesn't... It's not bad for us, and it's all natural herbs and stuff that deters the aphids and everything else. But look how good they're doing. Check out that beauty. Like, the Lord is good. You know, and I just had to, had to love it. It was so hard, and it still is hard, but I have to. you have to love it, you know. And it opens you up to uh, the creator again. How everything was so perfect. And of course, you know, we mess it all up. Like, we don't do this anymore. You know? And it was, it was a little hard. But it was worth it. I'm hoping to see if there's seeds. If bigger seeds come off of these. So I'm leaving this one. But it's not good. I kind of remember once they flower, it's real. It's hard to uh, keep them off from flowering quickly. Look, these are the broccolis. They're already flowering. I'm leaving this one alone, and I'm gonna trim this one, this one, this one, and that one. All the ones that are flowering, I'm gonna cut them off. I should look up. If there's like a broccoli flowers, edible broccoli flowers, I wouldn't doubt it. But I've been eating, not this small one, but these big ones. I've been trying to eat one of these a day. In fact, I haven't done one in a couple of days. But I ate some of the broccoli. So you could just eat this. That's all broccoli is. is seeds. So this one I'm going to chop. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? I'm not sure what this plant is, but it's going to be a delight. There's... Let's see if there's bugs. Yeah, there's aphids. I wanted to get ladybugs, but... They're like eight bucks. and I don't have a shade over this. And when it gets hot, it's gonna be bad. So my main thing is I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these and put them on top of this, and then put that black, uh, what is it called, uh, dump truck cover over this, and it's like the perfect amount of sun that comes out, and so it's still gonna get heat. Just like maybe 50% less and really it's perfect like these guys won't even suffer they didn't suffer today today was like 80 but once it gets 90 100 they should like they're gonna just gonna not use that they're gonna use use a lot of their energy on just trying to stay alive instead of fruiting so I want to put the shade over them I'm thinking this is the asparagus I hope it is. So, yeah. And I just covered it with this one. My uncle, my cousin gave this to me. Marcus gave this to me. And I honestly, when it got really hot, I just, I mean, when it was, when it was getting under 30 degrees, I just came out here. Didn't want to and cover this. But it's been here for a while now. These, these are probably four months old. Three months old. Hmm. Yeah, like three months old now. So, so they're even getting, they're even adapting to the the sun now. Like today was eighty six, and 
look, they're not even sad or anything. Well, you know, they're not falling down. And and you want your plants to fall down because so it doesn't waste all its energy. So you just want it to just go with go with the sun. And just don't don't try to be uh all strong and stay strong for the sun because that's gonna worry you out. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm getting myself in a rabbit hole <laughs> so i need to stop speaking but pretty cool huh like check out the what my mom planted i think this is i'm not sure what this is <laughs> but this is broccoli she put them way too close together so i'm gonna see if i could transplant them and there's um uh carrots Let's see Carrots. And the only thing I did was to keep do this was keep eggshells and just this small room right here. Look, just that. Th that's small. And there's still room to put way more in here. I think I'm going to split it in half in the in the middle. And then each year after, go up another layer, go up another layer. I mean, after years and years, go up and, you know, layer and layer. And then pretty soon it will be, like, higher. And it will be the best fertilizer you could ever had. So pretty cool, huh? All right. I don't know what else to talk about. I need to get off. See you guys. Thank you, Jesus.